Hey guys, um, I'm Craig Talley from uh, Hardcore Metal Detecting Radio Podcast. And I was just looking at, in the internet this morning and uh, <clears throat> I just saw where they had a uh, new Nocta Macro metal detector out of South Africa. It just landed, I guess, in Africa. <clears throat> and it's a, it's a VLF machine. And it's uh, designed for, uh, it says the easiest gold detecting to use, uh, designed for the toughest gold fields in the world. And it's running at uh, 61 kilohertz. And from what I know about the, you know, the higher kilohertz, the higher you go, the less depth you get, but the uh, more sensitivity you get. So this detector will probably pick up the, the tiniest little, uh, you know, pieces of gold. Um, I kind of find it funny they're putting one like this out. I, most people are using, that are serious about, you know, metal detecting and for gold are using false machines. And I saw in here where the, uh, they asked if the uh, gold monster was comparable and, uh, they're saying that, uh, it's not even in the range of the gold monster. So, uh, my thing is, you know, why did they come out with this machine? And we've been hearing about this multi-frequency machine, supposedly called the Lightning, and uh, simultaneous multi-frequency. And yet we haven't seen anything. I saw a box. I saw a guy win one at a Oklahoma uh, detecting uh, hunt down there, and uh, but he didn't open it and. Uh, we didn't get to see anything, so I'm hoping I'm not interested in the gold machine. I'm interested in the uh, simultaneous multi-frequency. I can't wait to see what that has in it. But um, I just kind of find it funny that uh, you know gold hunting. I, you know, Garrett just came out with a uh, 24 karat uh, gold machine running at 84 at 48 kilohertz and uh, you know they're using some kind of whites technology I think for the ground balancing or something but uh, you know the the gold machines have or they're kind of niche you know they don't have the popularity that the you know coin and relic hunting machines do so I don't know why you know you would come out with those kind of machines so uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, would you, uh, anybody thinking about getting a gold machine or uh, what are your thoughts about the uh, new multi-frequency lightning? <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping uh, we get to see that pretty soon. It's, it sounds like a really interesting machine. I have the uh, Amphibio and if you look at the at this, the, the build of it, it's exactly like this new gold machine. It's got a white, uh, a white uh, elliptical coil on it. But uh, I think it's going to be in the six to seven hundred dollar range. So uh, tell me what you think, guys. All righty, I'll talk to you guys later.